Hi, Perpetual Mommy here today to do a bag review for all of you. This is my beautiful Lily Jade Megan in the color Brandy. And you guys, I am so excited to finally have a Brandy Megan. I have another Megan in the color Charcoal or Gray. It is, before this bag, my favorite Lily Jade. The Megans are my favorite style. But the Brandy Megan is the one that made me fall in love with the Lily Jade brand. And so right before I went to order my very first Lily Jade, which would have been this bag, they came out with a pre-order for the Gray Megan. And because Gray is my color and because I love silver hardware, I went with the gray, which I'm super excited that I did. I love that bag to death, but this one I'd still been pining over. So for the last year, year and a half, I've really, really, really just kept thinking about how much I love the Brandy Megan. So I finally got one and it is absolute adoration, you guys. I just am love, love, loving this bag. If I had to choose between the Gray Megan or the Brandy Megan, which one I like better, I'm not sure that I could tell you. So at the end of this video, I will link the, the packing video for the Gray Megan. Uh, but when I received that bag, I packed for a one-year-old and a two-year-old. Right now I do have a brand new two-year-old and a brand new three-year-old. So they're now two and three. So my packing is a little bit different than when I packed the Gray Megan. So again, I will link that video. But you guys, this bag is a stunner. When I carry this bag, I'm not kidding you. I need to carry around Lily Jade business cards because we are stopped. People want to see it. They want to touch it. They want to see the inside of it. It's just, it's a showstopper, you guys. The Lily Jade bags, especially for me, the Megan's, absolute, absolute, absolute showstoppers. So for those of you who are new to the Lily Jade brand, they do come either with the gold or the silver hardware. Now, the color of the hardware depends on the color of the leather bag that you pick or the color of the canvas that you pick. So like I said, my gray Megan has silver hardware. The Brandy Megan does have gold hardware. The gold hardware is a great match for the Brandy color. I really think that was a good choice on Lily Jade's part to go with the gold. So like I said, I'm a silver girl, but I really do like the gold hardware on this bag. So you will see that the bag does have all these beautiful accents. So you have the gold Lily Jade nameplate right here. You have the beautiful accent details. You have the gold buckles. So all of the hardware on this bag is very good quality. And I will tell you guys, I said it in my other Lily Jade videos and I'll say it again. The leather on this bag, so it's a full grain leather that Lily Jade uses. And if you were to walk into a Saks Fifth Avenue and you were to pick up the most expensive leather bag that you could find there, the leather would not feel softer or smell more wonderful or be more supple than the leather that the Lily Jade uses. They really do use a very high quality leather on their bags. So if you've never gotten the Lily Jade before and you order your first one, what you want to do when you open that box is take a nice big whiff of the bag that you ordered because they smell amazing, you guys. Absolutely amazing. So like I do, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about the outside of the bag first, and then we're going to go ahead and talk about how I have the inside of the bag packed up. So on the front side of the bag, you do have the, like we said before, the Lily Jade nameplate. And like all Lily Jades do, you have a tassel. This one has the three jade beads and the gold plate right there. And then this one does have one large magnetic pocket right on the front, and then this beautiful accent stitching. On the side of the bag, you do have one O-ring. This is to attach your messenger strap or your crossbody strap. And then you have one magnetic pocket. The back side of the bag, you will notice there's no pockets back here, but you do have some more beautiful accent stitching along the bag. So it really adds some nice character to the bag. It's just one of those luxury elements that you get with the Lily Jades. So there are four ways to carry this bag. The first way is over the shoulder with the tote straps. These tote straps are a great drop length. I don't know the drop length offhand. I will insert it below if I can find it, but I do find it extremely comfortable to carry my bag over the shoulder with the tote straps. Then the bag does come with one large strap and you use that to carry the bag over the shoulder or messenger style. And again, you would attach the strap right here to this beautiful gold hardware on the sides. And then the fourth way and the way I prefer to carry my Megan is backpack style. So this is the strap that comes that allows you to carry over the shoulder, messenger style, or backpack. It's one continuous strap. Now I did just record with this particular bag two videos on how to convert the bag to a backpack carry and to an over the shoulder or crossbody carry along with still photos and moving photos of myself and my husband both wearing this bag because I really wanted you guys to be able to get a feel of what the bag looks like when you lean over, when you kiss your kids, when you take them for a walk, when you're shopping through Target, when you're doing your grocery shopping. So I will link those videos in the description so that you guys can get a feel of what this bag looks like on a little short woman. I'm five foot three so that would be me and on a six foot man that would be my husband so again two very different body types and this is the largest lily jade so i know a lot of people have questions about what does this bag look like on different body styles so hopefully that will help you guys and again that will be linked in the description for this video 
Let's go ahead and turn the back around and talk about how I have the bag packed up. So in this magnetic pocket right here, you're gonna get a beautiful view of this gorgeous jade lining. This is where I keep some quick grab items, things I wanna just be able to access very quickly. I do have my wipe pouch 30 case full of parasol wipes. Then I have my clip a bag hook. Now normally my clip a bag hook sits on the side of my bags like this, but because this bag has gold hardware and my clip a hook is silver, I went ahead and left it in the pocket. But I use this because I do not like to put my beautiful bags on any kind of surface. I don't put it on the ground, I don't put it on tables, that kind of thing. I hang it. But for those of you who do like to put your bags down on surfaces, the Lily Jades do come with metal feet to help protect the leather of your bags. So that is a nice feature. Let's go ahead and go back to this pocket right now. So in here, I also have some Baby Ganex hand sanitizer wipes. Both my girls have been sick, so we're trying to really uh, clean them up after they've wiped their noses or anything. I did have a dermatology appointment this last week, and so my girls had to go with me, and the doctor gave them some stickers. So we have some overflow stickers because they're always a plus to keep in your bags. Then I do have uh, almond nail oil and a pen gem from one of my favorite shops, The Sensible Mama. Let's go ahead and move on to the side pocket. Right here, and I don't know if you guys can hear, the magnets find themselves and they're very, very strong, so you don't have to worry about things falling out. In here I do have a baby sunscreen, as well as some mints. Let's go ahead and go to the other side pocket. And in all of my bags, you guys know, I do have a Honest Company hand sanitizer. As well as a hand lotion. I always carry some sort of lotion with me. Now let's go ahead and talk about how we have the inside of the bag packed up. The bag does open and close with one top zipper. It is a very nice, smooth zipper. You guys hear that? It's like butter. This is what my bag looks like before I take anything out. So sitting right on top, I'm gonna to pull these items out so you can see what the insert looks like. I do have my snack tower. Uh, my girls are big snackers, so anywhere we go, I always wanna make sure I can grab this out very, very quickly. So I have some yogurt chips, some Cheerios, and some rice puffs, as well as some rice cakes. And then the only other thing sitting right here on top, you guys, is my San Diego Hat Company hat. And for those of you who watch any of my vlogs, I wear my hair up a lot. I have really long hair and I have two little girls who like to be in my hair all the time. So I keep it up a lot. And what this hat does is really cool is that it allows you to keep your hair up in a bun or a ponytail and still wear it. So you wear it like you would like a headband. And when you put it on, your hair comes out the top and then you have this wide brimmed part that comes over your face. So I have had some skin cancer that I've had to have removed recently. So I'm really careful about shading myself in the sun and I live in California where it's really sunny and I am loving that hat you guys. It's a little bit silly when my husband first saw it he's like what is that thing but it works great and it folds up really nice and compact but this is what the inside of my bag looks like now packed up with the insert. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video I'm going to take the insert out and then I'm going to show you what I have packed inside the insert and then show you the bag without the insert. So this is the insert pulled out of the bag. It does pull out of the bag very, very easily. Initially, I wasn't sure how I feel about the handles, but I really like them. They're very sturdy, they don't get in my way, and it allows you to pull the insert out very, very easily. So I do like the handles, that is a nice feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about how I have the outside of the insert packed up, and then I'll talk to you about how I have the inside of the insert packed up. So the first thing you're gonna notice in this outside slip pocket is I do have an Up and Up Target brand toothbrush container full of straws for my girls. And then I do have some custom pieces in here. Any custom pieces that I do have packed in this bag, I will go ahead and link the information for the seamstress in the description. So for anybody who wants to order a piece for themselves, this is a custom play pack case. This is made by Christy McCoy, who owns Crafting After Dark, and it is in the Jujube Sea Punk fabric. And in here, I do have my restaurant essentials. So this is the activities that we may need while we're sitting anywhere, a doctor's office or a restaurant. I do have some twistable crayons. I have a sticker book. I have two play pack cases and I have some blank white paper. And then in this zipper compartment right here, I do have anything we would need for eating. So I have a couple of Baby Ganex hand sanitizer wipes. I have some dapple wipes. I do have some table topper mats. And I do have some disposable bibs. So it makes it really easy to have one central activity center to take into a restaurant or to pull out. 
So again, this was by Christy McCoy, Crafting After Dark. And that is it, I believe, for this pocket. But look how nice and generous this pocket is. And for those of you who don't know, I'm going to give you a shot right here. This part is very silky smooth, so it allows you to be able to pull items in and out very, very easily because it's nice and smooth. And this pocket right here is kind of like a quick grab toy accessory pocket. So for those of you who've seen my videos before, you know I do keep a Donatella or donut little poppable hairbrush in here for the girls, as well as some hair accessories. I have some Tokidoki hair clips and hair ties, and then just some little extra clips for the girls. So I do have a, like I said, a two-year-old and a three-year-old, and they both have very long hair. So sometimes we have to do a hair fix while we're on the go. And then I have a set of Tegu blocks. These are those magnetic blocks. My girls love these, and these are in the natural wood color. Moving on to this side pocket. I do have a GGB medium set piece in the Uni 2.0 print, and look how fabulous this matches the beautiful jade insert, you guys. Just, it's like perfection, like they were made for each other. And in here, I do have one change of clothes. Now, I do have my three-year-old who's fully potty trained, and my two-year-old who's about 90% potty trained. She has not mastered the poo in the potty yet. So I do carry one change of clothes just in case. This is a size 4T. It would be a little bit big on the two-year-old, but she could wear it if she needed to, and then obviously it would fit the three-year-old. I do have two pairs of socks in here as well as two unpapered towels made by Marley's Monsters to clean up any messes we may have. Now moving on to the other side pockets. This is my toy pocket or my you know keep them happy while we're out and about pocket and I used to pack my toys inside a pouch but I've been trying out um, you know, leaving them free and just being able to put my hand in here and grab them out quickly and so far it's working out pretty good. So I have quite a bit of uh, quick grab toys in here. I have a Lightning McQueen car, I have a Myrna Corno, I have a Doc McStuffins, I have a Lammy. let's see here, I think there's another car in here, I do, I have a Wonder Woman car, and then my girls love dress up, and my two-year-old, my just turned two-year-old, she still sometimes is very oral, so she needs to put things in her mouth, so I do have two little uh, rubber bracelet chew bead for the girls, and then I have uh, two necklaces, one for each girl, so again, they work for dress up, and they work for the baby when she needs something kind of to chew on get these out of the way and then I told you guys that uh, we do have the potty trained three-year-old and the potty training two-year-old so I do carry a wet bag and a set of training pants with me so this wet bag is made by itsy ritzy and I love this wet bag you guys look how gorgeous this bag is and it just matches the lining of the Lily Jade insert so nicely and then I do have a pair of little learners these are made by Kanga Care, Little Learners. They're training pants. Now, I do carry pull-ups with me, disposable pull-ups, but this is more for if the baby was to fall asleep um, or we were going to be out somewhere for a really long time and I wasn't sure that we would be able to make it to a restroom quickly if she had to go potty. We can put these on her. So those are there with the wet bag. Now, this is some more snack. So I do carry the snack container with me, but I also have a little snack section. So the girls are older, but they still really enjoy their baby pouches. I make a lot of food at home for them, like purees and stuff that I turn into popsicles, but they really enjoy these pouches. These pouches. And when we're out for long days, sometimes this is, you know, <laughs> what works when we're in the car in traffic or what have you. So I do have uh, two little food pouches. And then I always carry a Medi Buddy case, and this one has a baby mum mum in it and some yogurt raisins. And that's it for this pouch. And again, look how big these pouches are, you guys. Like, look, my entire hand. So they're just fantastic pockets. And that is it for the outside of the insert. And let's go ahead and talk about how I have the inside of the insert packed up. So I'll show you what it looks like. So you will notice that there are two elasticized pockets right here. I do not put anything in those pockets. And then you have one, two, three pockets here. I don't have anything in those pockets as well. Right here sitting in the center, I do have a large set piece by GGB, and again, this is the Unikiki 2.0 print, and this is my diapering essentials. So basically, this has pull-ups in it for the two-year-old. So I do carry two pull-ups with me. I do carry a wipe pouch case in the monochrome hearts print with parasol wipes in it. I have a disposable change pad. And the thing that I get out most from this pouch is the summer infant disposable toilet seat covers that you use for public restrooms because, let's face it, public restrooms are disgusting. It's like the worst part of potty training are the public toilets. And then I do have a baggie dispenser full of plastic baggies for anything that we may need to put in there. 
And the very last thing that I have sitting on the inside here is my Lily Jade pouch, also in the color Brandy. Look how beautiful. And this pouch, just so you guys know if you haven't seen it before, does have one pocket on the outside and then one main compartment. So nice smooth zipper. And in here is kind of my mommy essentials. So right here I do have a Jujube coin purse in the Donatella Sweet Shop print. And this has some of my stuff that I want to make sure really the babies don't get into at all. So I do have my migraine medication. And look how beautiful this matches with the insert. It's just crazy. And then I do have a hair tie. I have some extra contacts. I have some dental floss. So these are more of like the mommy needs kind of thing. And then in here I do have some other nice things to have. I have some Tums. I have some lipstick. I have, uh, this is my favorite lipstick right now. It's Tom Ford and it is the blush nude color. If anybody's looking for a new lipstick color, I do have a face lotion and then I have a let's see here I do have a custom mirror by crafting after dark and this is in the sea punk print now the very last thing in the insert right here you guys is you do have one zipper across the back it's a nice smooth zipper and in here is my first aid kit this is a Kipling small creativity pouch in the color winter white and in here I do have some nitrile gloves, I have some alcohol prep pads, I have some band-aids, I have some gauze pads, I do have some nail files, I keep some nail clippers, I have a pair of little scissors, and then in this back pocket right here I do have a couple of emergency whistles as well as a thermal blanket for shock. And that is it for the insert, but what I want to show you guys with the new insert with the Lily J 2.0 is that the insert stands up very nice all by itself. So it's structured enough that when you pull it out, even when it's not packed, it stands up beautifully and makes it very easy to pack the bag and pack the insert up. But let me go ahead and move the insert out of the way. And I'm going to talk to you about what the bag looks like, the actual Megan looks like now that the insert is pulled out. So this is what the bag looks like with the insert out. And again, another shot of that beautiful jade lining. So you'll notice that there is one zippered compartment right here lined with leather. You do have the Lily Jade brand right there in leather, so embossed leather. And then you have two slip pockets with leather piping on it. And right here in the slip pocket, I do have more of those summer infant toilet seat covers. And then this pocket right here, I do have a toy leash or a binky leash, whatever I need to use it for. I have a coffee koozie. This was made by Bibbidi Bobbidi Bedina. I did do a, re a review of her shop. I love her koozies for my coffees because as you guys know coffee is a food group in my house so I love putting these on my iced drinks. And then I also have a pack of tissues right here and I love how this tissue pack matches with this interior lining of this bag. Total accident but made my day when I saw that. So the very last thing I have in the bag is inside the zippered compartment right here. And this is where I've been keeping my wallet. So I have been using my Jujubee small set piece in the blackout print as my wallet. Now I am a large wallet kind of person, but I've really been trying to minimize that. And so I've been carrying a small set piece with a NCO coin purse for cash and dollars. And then I have two GGBB charged in here to hold credit cards and medical cards. And it's working out really, really well as well. It zips it really nicely. And this is what the bag looks like. Let me zip up this pocket. This is what the bag looks like, completely empty. It is stunning, you guys. So the very last thing I want to show you with this bag, you guys, that the Lily J does come with is a change pad. Now I don't use this for my girls because my girls are bigger and they're potty training. But when you receive your bag, this is the insert, and you pull it out, it's like right in the side pocket. This sits beautifully right there. But I'm going to go ahead and open it up so you guys can see what it looks like. It has a snap closure. It opens up very, very easily. You just unroll it. And put it out. So this is a good size if you have little ones, if you have a newborn or a small baby. But again, my girls are bigger, so we don't use this. But it is a nice feature for those of you, again, who do have little ones. So that's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.